All right, so today is going to be nice and, oh God, that's my foot. You don't want to see my feet. What's up, friends? My name is Chris Tejas. I'm a photographer and videographer based in Ontario, Canada. Uh, today, we're just going to do a little BTS, super simple, looking at a shoot that I did this weekend with a couple of people and talking a little bit about how I direct people, talking about the vision for the shoot itself, some of the editing and stuff like that. This photo shoot we did was actually for another video that I'm working on. I recently uh, became an affiliate with Dehancer. If you don't know Dehancer, they make really cool film emulations and stuff that you can throw onto video footage as well as photo footage using their plugins. And, and I'm doing a video where I'm basically gonna be comparing Fuji film simulations to Dehancer simulations and, and seeing how they compare and how they stack up and what I like and I'll throw in some of my own edits there. So all of these photos are going to be used for that. So it made it kind of interesting because when I was actually shooting, I was shooting in four different film simulations throughout the shoot so that I could get a varied style of shots. And it was really interesting to see how that kind of formulated how I, um, how I framed things, my composition, my choice of setting, stuff like that because I was shooting for the film simulations in mind as opposed to just shooting. It actually made it a lot more difficult. Switching between film simulations over and over throughout the shoot, it means that the shoot isn't necessarily gonna have the most cohesive look to it from one image to the last, but it also means that as I was shooting, I was constantly like switching dials and stuff. And it's just not how I normally like to shoot. Thankfully, this was just a creative shoot. It was with some friends and so, I didn't really have to worry about how that would look too much, but but it it was it was tricky, and that was kind of kind of fun because it put me in a weird place. And uh, to be honest, I'm not as happy with some of the shots as I think I would have been if I was just shooting the way I normally do, having everything in manual and 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 making my decisions, knowing that I was going to just worry about framing and composition and getting it right in camera as much as I could, and then going into the edit to get the style I was kind of after. Knowing that I had the style baked into the JPEGs was was kind of interesting. Um, I certainly did shoot RAW and JPEG, so you could actually jump in and, and see some of that. And, and that's what we did here. So the photos I'll be showing you today are going to be my edits of the RAW images and not the JPEGs that I shot. You'll be able to see those in a separate video at the end of the week. So the kind of vision for the shoot, I was looking at the couple and I was saying, okay, these are some friends of mine. I know their vibe. I know their feel. We wanted to create something that was almost like walking around in the downtown and just snapping photos. We wanted it to feel very kind of like editorial, very slice of life kind of thing, where it was like, you know, they were actually on their way after that to go pick up a bunch of groceries to uh, to go make, I don't know, pulled pork sliders or something like that. Anyway, so I was trying to think of it like, okay, if they were just on their way to the market, going to grab stuff, what kind of things would I photograph? Where would I have them stand and sit? And what would I try and capture to make them feel like they were creating memories for that day? So that was the directive and that was the style. One sec, it's getting crazy bright. That's cool. Yeah, that's better. And now it's getting dark again. Cool. Um, so that was the kind of directive was let's create some images that feel like they're just sort of like memories for you that you can look back on uh, of this day that you were walking to the market. Let's hop into some of the footage and we'll show some of the photos along the way. Cool, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get you kind of a little bit tighter to the to the pole, so basically here and here, yeah. Um, I'm gonna get you to, I like that, that's nice. Uh, yeah, stay straight like that, that's, oh, that's, that's cute. cool. So generally speaking, I'm not giving a ton of direction at first, I'm usually just trying to get people comfortable and make them feel like they can get to know me a little bit more and the way that I shoot before I start telling them very specific stuff to do. I might tell them like, hey, walk here, walk there, look this way, look that way. Really what I'm trying to do is get a sense of how comfortable they are in front of the camera and what their like go-to poses are, the way they tilt their head, the way they look at the camera, because everybody kind of has a vibe that they do. And go for it. A hand up fixing your hair a little bit. So this is like an incredibly popular wall to take photos at in our area. So it's a bit hacky, but what the hell? Why not? I uh, figured we could at least start here because it was really close and it would just get get us in the groove and get us moving. And then we would find some more interesting spots after that. I like these photos. They're just, they've been done to death in this area. So uh, that's why it's, it's nice to kind of start in the most obvious areas and, and get the shakes out and kind of go from there. Um, I've gotten kicked out of you this can hear me just like shotgunning photos. 
Yeah, let's see. Let's see if that works. Don't particularly want to get the beer town sign in any photos, but if we have to, we have to. Just keep looking back at him. So Jess and Shane said they just don't have a lot of photos of them together, and that was a main thing is they just wanted some photos that encapsulated who they are. And from what I know of them, at least, like not knowing them super well, they're just like they're interesting and kind of goofy and sweet and just very kind. And um, that was very much the case when we were taking the photos. Um, that was a live car. So this one didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to. I imagined something more grandiose and bigger. Um, but I think if we wanted to do that, we would have had to just be in a different area. Like, so the ramps, obviously, kiss. like, it's multi-level. So I could have done that in a couple different areas. And I think having something different going on in the background, a little darker, could have helped with lighting them a little bit deeper. But um, we just couldn't really find that. And I was a little bit nervous about getting kicked out of there because I always get kicked out of that parking lot. Great example of photographing up someone's nose, something you should always do. And let, can I bring your shoe in a little bit too? Um, yeah. I was obsessed with their shoes on this day. Like I just love the way that they're, like they, they were just matched so perfectly, their shoes and pants and everything. So we took a bunch of photos of that. This is where I'm like switching between okay. my film simulations one over one and over. So here I saw this reflection. I like to use reflections when I can. Um, I had a bit of an intention of what I wanted the final image to look like. And so I wanted to get them walking and moving um, and just get a few snaps of that. Yeah. Same thing here, just getting them moving. <laughs> this was a failed attempt. This was something that absolutely didn't work out. Um, I thought it'd be cool to use some framing of all this and stuff. I, I will get you. I don't particularly like any of the photos from these, mainly just because it feels a little bit too like high school art class. I'll show you the photos. Like, there's a couple that are kind of cool, but I didn't even really take a lot of time to add them because I just, I felt like it was just a little bit, I don't know, embarrassing. <laughs> it just felt very, yeah, high school photo class. Like so and this is an area that I wanted to photograph for two reasons. One is I like the framing. I like the, the feel of it. And like, you know, it's very minimal, but there's like lots of nice kind of like color separation and blocking there. The other thing is that this is an, a, a new restaurant that is actually going to start doing wedding receptions. And so obviously having some photos encapsulating that is kind of cool. Um, yeah. And I just wanted something that felt really symmetrical and even lined and stuff like that. Uh, this was cute. This is a little train car that's in the middle of our town for no reason uh, at an overpriced men's clothing store. And so we just snapped some photos here quickly. They were just game for everything, which was super nice. Um, very kind people <laughs> in that way. Like they just wanted to do cool stuff. Here, uh, I wish I had had them pull back even a tiny bit more to get a little more light on Jess, but I do think it, it edited well and we got some nice photos. That was great. Like I said, the, the photos are a little bit all over the place because again, we were trying to create different JPEG recipes that would work well and that we could put up against Dehancer for the next video. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, hopefully that was something that was kind of fun and a little bit different for the channel. And uh, if you wanna see more BTS stuff, let me know. I like doing it. I'm always doing shoots, so it's always cool to do it. And we'll do more of those. Uh, and like I said, Friday or Saturday, probably Saturday, we're gonna have a really cool video all about Fuji versus Dehancer, so stay tuned for that. Uh, share this with your friends, do all the stuff. Thank you, you're cool, I think you're cool. I don't know you, unless I do know you, in which case that's cool. Thanks for watching. If I don't know you and you're watching, that's also really cool, and thank you. What am I talking about? Okay, bye, peace.